So this was a question asked by a student. At a certain position, the temperature on 300 hectopascal chart is minus 48. Now, see, uh, if you have attended uh, my med class, you already know that 300 hectopascals happens at 30,000 feet. At 30,000 feet, the temperature is minus 48 degrees centigrade. So this is 30,000 feet. Now it says, according to this chart, tropopause level is at flight level 330. That means at a level of 33,000. 330 plus 20 is 33,000 feet. This is tropopause. Now this guy who said this question paper is intelligent. He just said where is the tropopause and he is asking what is the temperature at flight level 350 that is at 35,000 feet. Now this question depends on your knowledge. What happens about tropopause the temperature doesn't fall. What do I mean by it? You all know from earth as you go up the temperature falls at the rate of 2 degrees per 1000 feet. Approximately 1.97. Let's say 2 degrees per 1000 feet. It will fall till tropopause. Iske baad, you know, the temperature is constant. Whatever temperature is at tropopause, it will be the same. Now, that means the temperature at 35,000 feet is equals to the temperature at 33,000 feet. After you know understanding this logic, if you if we move forward at thirty thousand feet, the temperature is minus forty eight. Now, because it is below tropopause, as you go up, the temperature falls at the rate of two degrees per thousand feet. So, how many thousand feet are there between uh, th uh, three thousand and thirty three thousand? Three thousand. So, every thousand feet, temperature falls by. 2 degrees centigrade, 3000 feet temperature will fall by 6 degrees centigrade. So the temperature is minus 48. So the temperature will fall by 6 degrees centigrade. So temperature at 33,000 would be minus 48 minus or plus of minus 6 that is minus 6. So that would be minus 54 degrees centigrade. So the temperature at top of us is minus 54. Now, because it is same at 33,000 feet and 35,000 feet, the answer will still be minus 54 degrees centigrade.